everything you said we already knew. So starting day 11, we've got a special guest today. My girlfriend Christy, she's come up and brought me lots of joy. And I've now got wellies, so I can now go in the river. But yeah, we're teaching her what being a geologist is all about today. He flew back, he hey. loves me. So we're down by the river and we're going to be taking some strike and dip readings. So strike is the line where you've got zero dip and dip is the angle at which they are from horizontal. All sedimentary rocks are laid down horizontal to start with so they're flat and over time due to different tectonic uh, processes they can become dipped. <laughs> so what we're measuring is the line at which there's no dip and then the dip angle which is the line of maximum dip and those two are perpendicular to each other. So Christy's going to learn how to do it and take a reading for us. So you put it so that the, the black arrows in between the two little black dots. Okay. And then you flick it so that it's flat. And then you twizzle the bit in the middle so that the red bit goes inside the red bit. And then you've got a reading there. 32. Okay. And then you twizzle it so that west is at the, uh, that white bit. And then you turn it so it's, so it's 90 degrees. So it's like going down like that. And then you read what it says on that bottom bit. So that's like 30 something. 36, 32, 36. Cool. So you've done it. You're a geologist now. Hello everyone. So going back to Backside Beck today. Gonna finish off the top half. We've pretty much finished mapping slip three now. So we're one step closer to finishing. Go! <laughs> so we got to a piece of outcrop and uh, trying to determine what type of rock it is. And so we got ourselves a piece of the outcrop and looking at and the grains are too fine to be able to determine between saltstone and mudstone. So one test is if you grate a bit between your teeth. <laughs> and then sort of grind it between your front teeth. If, it, if you can feel the grains in it, it's a saltstone. But if it just goes to sort of a paste, it becomes a mudstone or it is a mudstone. So this one is more muddy, but because it's quite fissile, we think it's a shale. So I think this is the felsic stuff. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Hello everyone, day 15, which means we're three weeks in actually, we're halfway there. But we're back where we left off yesterday. We're gonna continue up the stream. We've gotta walk down a big hill, so I guess the best way to do it would be sliding down. <laughs> <laughs> Great into bedding here. Crop, and we've noticed that the rock bends around with the stream, so we think it's folded. So what we're going to do is take strike and dip measurements from one side, where it's like this, and then follow it round as it bends around with the stream. <laughs> so we should be able to work out what the fold looks like uh, and plot it in a stereo net. Igneous intrusion. Put 
But if I was to say, pretty much like that. <laughs>